we we've talked a little bit about the egg bowl um you know you you, you won three egg bowls during your time in stark Wheel. could you sort of explain what it's like to both play in an egg bowl and then to win an egg bowl <laughs> yeah uh it is um it is an incredibly intense uh intimate rivalry in the state of mississippi you know i've tried to my best to describe it in ways so that people who haven't experienced it could understand it but it is one of those things you have to experience it sort of to really understand it you know but when you consider this entire state we have less, just a few less than 3 million people, not even 3 million people in this whole state. So even though 2.9, whatever, 2.8 million sounds like a big number, it's really not when you spread us out across the whole state. Sure. And after a few years, we kind of all know each other. You know, it's like we you get to know a lot of the people. And um, so it's intimate. And you take any bit of intensity and hatred and dislike for one or the other that you might have in, say, the Alabama-Auburn rivalry, you have the same thing here, just fewer people. Yeah. So it's a little more intimate. So when you look at it in that context, playing in it, it was really peculiar at first for me because I grew up in Alabama and I honestly had never really even heard of the Egg Bowl. I didn't know it was called the Egg Bowl uh, until I, it, you know, I'm on, I'm on a recruiting trip and there's the trophy and they're like, hey, they call it the Egg Bowl. You know, you, so it was all brand new to me. And I noticed right away my first couple of years in school that when, you know, my teammates who were from Mississippi that had been born and raised here and were always state guys. They would be one personality a certain way throughout the year. And then when it got to be Egg Bowl week, they flipped the switch and they became different. There was they didn't joke around. They were mad and and they couldn't they couldn't hardly sleep at night, just even considering the thought that we might lose to them. That's how you know it was approached. And it took me a little while to learn that, you know, reality of this rivalry, to be honest with you. Yeah. Having not grown up in it. Because, um, but but I will say too that among the players on one team or the other, there's a lot of respect because every player understands how much each other has had to go through just to be out there. Sure. So there's a, a lot of respect among the players, and there's a lot of friendships among the players. Um, but I think the intensity and the angst is a lot because of the fan base stuff, and then. And and the fact is, um, the the fan bases are very different. Uh, the alumni bases are very different of the two schools, and so it's. Um, I, I would say that it's one that is every bit as intense as some of the ones that you see, like Auburn, Alabama. It just doesn't have quite as many people involved. Sure. Okay. <laughs> What's the uh, what's the build up like on campus? You know, in, in the week going up to the game, is there, it gets is there kind of a different feel? Is it is it kind of uh, you know, mm -hmm. getting ready for battle kind of kind of feeling? <laughs> it, it really is. I mean, you know, your your student body, your your faculty who are from Mississippi, they understand what it means <laughs> that that if you if you drop this. You're going to have to hear it for 365 days a year. Nobody wants to have to go through that, right? Yeah. So um, it, it gets pretty serious. I, you know, some people may kind of wink at it and roll their eyes, you know, when they see, you know, a new coach is hired in one of the sports and they'll publicly say, well, Dr. Keenum, who's the president of the university, you know, brought me into his office. And the first conversation he had with me is about how important it is to beat Ole Miss. Well, He's not just, they're not just saying that. That's what he does. You know, like the first yeah. conversation, hey, let's get this out of the way. You got to beat them. You know, that's the, uh, that's the, the conversation. So it's intense. It's um, on campus. People kind of get an extra level of, of um, pumped up. Sure. That ball game every Thanksgiving. <laughs> Was it any different um, in in ninety eight and ninety nine um, playing the Egg Bowl on Thanksgiving? Because um, I was I was just kind of I was going over the history 
uh, of the game and it and it seemed for for a long time that it was always played on Thanksgiving weekend or not actually the day itself. Uh, I think mm-hmm. only 23 of the 117 meetings have actually been on Thanksgiving. But is there kind of a is there a different feel? Of people maybe a little bit distracted by thinking they're going to be having turkey after the game or or things like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, it is. It was a little different to to play that one at first. Um, because you know your family was scrambling trying to figure out okay well are we going to have thanksgiving dinner on thanksgiving day are we going to the football game and you still have that going on um you know and alex we have this conversation on my radio show every year that that it pops up okay it's going to be on thanksgiving again because what i find is just based on my listeners it's really divided like half the fan bases they would they would prefer the game to be on saturday you know, because they want to do the family thing on Thursday on Thanksgiving. Sure. The other half says, no, I like it on Thursday. You know, you, you get more exposure and then we do our family thing on Saturday. So, you know, it's like you can't get everybody to agree whether or not they want the game on that Thursday night of Thanksgiving. Um, as a player, I don't remember it being, you know, too much different because we were playing some Thursday night games anyway. Right. Um, seems like I remember we played LSU a couple times on Thursday nights in my career. We might have played Kentucky a time or two on Thursday nights, but we had Thursday night games. And so the fact that it was on a Thursday, you could stay in routine. And and I say that just because that's the biggest thing for any football team. Coaches and players will tell you that is setting a routine and then sticking to it throughout the year. It's the biggest thing for a team. And so, you know, we could we could stay on routine and on schedule with a Thursday night game, and I think for some, and, and I'm trying to think those last couple of years, I I didn't mind it because I knew if we played on Thursday night, coach was going to let us go home Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I, and I just drive home to Alabama, get a long weekend with my family, and and then come back if we were in a bowl game. Sure. Um, so so your wife is is an old Miss grad is that correct that's right <laughs> what what what's the household like then um you know uh, the day of a of an egg bowl yeah um <laughs> i wish i could get her up here to answer it for you because the first <laughs> thing she would say is we never see matt on thanksgiving anymore you know because <laughs> of because now i'm doing the radio stuff and yeah. last year was my 10th year uh in the color analyst role and man, it's like every year it's Thanksgiving. She just chalks it up. We're not going to see Matt on Thanksgiving, you know, it'll be Saturday. So, um, so day of the game stuff, I'm just in work mode, yeah. which that's kind of the way I like it. I, I don't, I don't know that I would like, you know, that I'm going to be a fan. I'm going to watch the game. So I sit around and get nervous about it all day long, you know, the yeah. getting to work and do the radio, I just treat it like a work day. Um, she, it is a uh, 2001 graduate of Ole Miss. She was a homecoming queen there. And, um, you know, her mom went there. Her grandmother went there. Her grandfather went there. I mean, it's like it's just generational, you know, Ole Miss. And I'm really lucky in that they are incredibly good sports. <laughs> she is one who – she definitely wants Ole Miss to win. She wants them to win everything. But it's like win or lose, the game's over, it's over. She's not one of these who's constantly needling me and playing practical jokes and stuff. So our our personalities fit in that way. Sure. Um, that it's you know, we don't talk a whole lot about it, honestly, throughout the year. And that's that's probably best. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and then she's probably just glad as soon as the game's over that you're then coming home, right? So <laughs> And that's pretty much it. Yeah. She's like, oh, you know, she's a single parent every Thanksgiving, you know, it seems like for the whole day. Mm-hmm.